Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Rabbi zidni ilma Warzuqni fahuma Rabbi shrahli sadri Wayassijli amri Wahlul uqdatan min lisani Yafqahu qawli Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello students I'm Shiana Miss from Lavian et al. Education Center Welcome you all to see a lesson are you all excited for the lesson? Yes, I'm sure you all are very excited. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about colors. Can you tell me what's your favorite color? Wow, so many colors. Some of you like red, some are saying blue, yellow, orange, green. And many more. Can you guess my favorite color? Is it red, blue, orange, yellow, purple or green? How did you know that? You're right. Blue is my favorite color. Now I'm going to show you some pictures of objects without its color. You have to guess and tell me the color of the object. Ready? Will you be able to guess? Okay, let's see. Get ready to guess the color of the object. Ready? What's the color of the ocean? Yes. The color of the carrot. Orange. Good. What is the color of the broccoli? It is green. Is the color of the ketchup? is red very good what is the color of the eggplant is purple excellent keep it up now that we know a lot of colors let's see what we are learning today and what we have to achieve We are learning about primary and secondary colors. We will be successful if we can identify and tell all the primary and secondary colors, watch and tell how we make secondary colors and help the teacher to create an artwork. Inshallah, we will be achieving our success criteria. Right students? So first, let's sing a song. It's a very fun song about colors. Let's sing along. If you are wearing red, shake your head. If you are wearing red, shake your head. If you are wearing red, then please shake your head. If you are wearing red, shake your head. If you are wearing blue, touch your shoe. If you are wearing blue, touch your shoe. If you are wearing blue, then please touch your shoe. If you are wearing blue, touch your shoe. If you are wearing green, bow to the queen. If you are wearing green, bow to the queen. If you are wearing green, then please bow to the queen. If you are wearing green, bow to the queen. If you are wearing yellow, shake like jello. If you are wearing yellow, shake like jello. If you are wearing yellow, then please shake like jello. If you are wearing yellow, shake like jello. If you are wearing black, pat your back. If you are wearing black, pat your back. If you are wearing black, 
then please pat your back. If you are wearing black, pat your back. If you are wearing brown, turn around. If you are wearing brown, turn around. If you are wearing brown, then please turn around. If you are wearing brown, turn around. If you are wearing brown, turn around. If you are wearing brown, turn around. Did you enjoy the song? It had so many colors, right? Can you guess and tell me this color? How about this and this? Red, yellow, blue. These are primary colors. Now choose any one primary color and go and touch any three objects which has that color. And come back as fast as you can and tell me which objects you have touched. Hurry up, go, go, go. Touch any three objects. Wow, you all are so fast. So, what were the things you touched? A red apple? A blue dress? A yellow ball? Wow, a red chair? Good work, everyone. Now, let's paint a picture. I have blue, red, yellow. But I have only three colors. I want some more colors to paint this one. How can I get other colors? I have an idea. How about I mix the colors I have now to create a new color? Yes, that's a good idea. So first, let's mix red and yellow. Which color do you think will come? Let's see, put some red and add some yellow, mix. We are getting orange. Let's color the fish orange. Now let's add blue and yellow and mix. Which color did I get? It's green. Let's color the fish green. I need one more color. I didn't mix blue and red, right? Let's mix them. Which color do you think will I get? Hey, I got purple. Now my painting is complete. Do you know what we call to these colors? Yes, we call it secondary colors. You all are very smart. Let's recall what secondary colors are. What's this color? What's this color? And what is this color? Orange, green, purple. Now we know primary and secondary colors. Theory is in creating colors. Wow, Eagle! Your painting is so special! Thanks, Arthurius! Your painting looks great, too! It could be better. I want to use more colors. I created new colors by mixing the primary colors. 
Do you want to see? How can I do that? You can use the primary colors, red, blue, and yellow, to get all the colors of the rainbow. Primary colors are mixed together to create secondary colors. Here you go, Arthurius. Red and blue are mixed together to create a purple color. Red and yellow are mixed together to create orange. We can mix the blue and yellow colors together to create a beautiful green. Ta-da! That looks amazing, Arthurius. I think you can be the next Van Gogh. No, I think I'll stay right here. <laughs> go, go. Wow, that was a great video. Now let's go for a quiz. Observe the given two colors and tell me which secondary color it will form. Red, yellow. Which secondary color will it form? Orange. Next, yellow and blue. Which color will it form? Green. And red, blue. Which color will it form? Purple. That's great. Now we know that to make secondary colors, we have to mix primary colors. Am I right? Yes. So let's paint a picture using those colors. Okay, first I'm going to use red and yellow. And in between, I will use the secondary color of these two. What is the secondary color I will get? Yes! Let's mix these two colors. And we will be getting which color? Yes, orange. Let's paint this in the middle. Likewise, I'm going to mix two primary colors and its secondary color to complete the painting. Look at my painting. What do you think about the painting? It looks so pretty and colorful, right? Thank you. I would like to show you some more pictures where there are primary and secondary colors. To make this picture, we have used color pencil. And to make this one, we have used crayons. Do you like these two pictures? Beautiful, right? Here is one more colorful picture for you. Can you try and create a beautiful picture like this? You can use watercolors, color pencils, or even crayons. Don't forget to hang it on the wall. I'm having so much fun with you all and all these colors. How about you? For next activity, you have to answer these questions without even thinking. I want fast answers. But your answer should be a color. Tell me the color of your dress or shirt. Which color do you like the most from your house? Whoa, nice. What is the color of the sun? What is the color of your hair? Wow, that was quick. 
Now I'm going to show you magic. Are you all ready? For this, I am using three markers. First, I will draw a red triangle. And inside the red triangle, I am going to draw a yellow triangle. Very close to each other. And again, a red one. Then a yellow one. Now all the triangles are filled using primary colors. Let's see the magic. I use red and yellow markers separately, right? But when we look at the triangle from far, we see totally different color. Which color do you see? Yes. Orange, green, purple. Right? Now we know different ways to create secondary colors. Next time when we run out of colors, we can mix primary colors to form new colors. Here is our last activity. For this, you have to stand and watch very carefully. First, let's stand up. Okay, now listen. Here is a color wheel. When the color wheel stops to a color, you have to run and touch an object which has that color. Ready? Start! Let's see which color it stops. And we got blue. Now hurry up, go and touch anything which has blue. Let's spin again. Let's see which color we will get this time. Got yellow. Let's go and touch anything which has yellow. Let's spin again. This time I'm going to get color do you think? Green. Hurry up. Go and touch anything which has green. Last time. are getting red no orange fast run that was fun you all are very fast hooray we have learned a lot about colors in today's lesson in our everyday life, we see a lot of colors. Wherever we look, we see different colors. We even use different colors to express our emotion. When we look at all these plants and animals, we see lots of beautiful colors. Sometimes our actions are also based on colors. For example, the traffic light also has colors. Red means stop, green means go. Even weather brings a lot of beautiful colors. And don't forget about the rainbow. Alhamdulillah, you all have successfully achieved your success criteria. Now you know colors of primary and secondary. You know how to make secondary colors and you even touch some objects which has that color. A high five from me to you all. High five. Hope that everyone has enjoyed today's lesson. Bye bye. Stay safe and wash your hands. Thank you.